What's up, mother? What's up? my name? is Joshua, and thank you guys for tuning into an exciting mod spotlight. Today, I'm going to be mod spotlighting, mod spotlighting, excuse me, for the mod or spawn rules. This mod allows you to basically alterate the places where anim a animals can spawn. Now, I'm now while I go find a desert for a reasonable um, uh, place for me to show you how this tutorial, uh, this mod works. I'll basically explain how it goes. So basically, what you what this mod allows you to do is that it allows you to change spawn locations for certain mobs. Let's say for an example, you know, it's very difficult to find a wolf in any biome. And in fact, they, there are only specific biomes that the wolf can spawn in. And if that is the case, though, then it's, you know, it's going to be really hard for anyone to find a wolf for that matter, or even a moam shrew, for ex for another example, you know, even though people hate that mod, or mob, excuse me, that people still want to find it, and if it's too hard to find, then what's the bother of looking for it? Well, this mod is that um, kind of example, so let me show you guys. So, when you go into the game options menu to find it, you go into the options, you go to global mod options here, and you go to spawn rules. There are spawn limits and spawn options. Spawn limits allows you to increase or decrease the amount of monsters or types of monsters to have to be or uh, creatures in your world now with that you can oh i'm so sorry my um glasses just fell on my keyboard anyways um you can have a certain amount of water creatures ambient creatures which are bats basically or neutral creatures that don't attack um you've got creatures like cows pigs dolph uh, dolphins <laughs> well that's as if that is if you are using mods and monsters. Now the cool thing is, is that what's nifty about this mod is that it also uses, utilizes other mods as well, such as Mo Creatures. On the website for the forums of the spawn rules, it actually gives a list of the compatible mods that, that work with this. So let's go to the wolf, okay? So we'll go to Creature here, and let's go and check out the wolf. Now to click on it, like to see what the wolf looks like, you can just click on that little head, and there you go. You got a nice looking wolf here. Now, it gives you the type of cre uh, it's a creature, health, is it tameable, yes, does it grow, yes, width, height, like how tall is it, how fast is it, and it's really cool, it gives you all these nice little facts, same with chickens. Is it tameable, no, does it grow, yes, etc, etc. Now, when you click on the egg, it shows you the biomes. Now, as you can see, there are four biomes that the wolf can spawn in, and it's very, very small amount, and... You know, if you want to find a wolf, let's say you want to find a wolf in the desert, then you can add the wolf to spawn in the desert here. Now, this is where it gets a little more complicated, but it's still interesting. When you add a, uh, or when you're in the spawner biomes of the mob that you're trying to edit, you can also click on the desert, let's say for here, on the spawner biomes. Click on here, and you can have, like, I have this. I be this, I believe, increases the amount so let's increase that to 10 here, and this is the amount that are in groups, like clusters, and we'll increase that to 10, like groups of 10. Um, here is the spawn time. Now, we're going to set it to 10 o'clock, and, and then we're going to stop it at 23 hours. Basically, the beginning time is when they start spawning in Minecraft time. And, the, and when they stop spawning, is at 23 hours, which is basically midnight in Minecraft, um, so, or so to say. So 10 o'clock, if you want, the will start spawning in the daytime. 10 o'clock, I would recommend. So let's go find ourselves a desert, and I will get back to you guys when I find a desert, and I'm going to show you guys how this uh, truly works. Alright, so here we are at the desert here in Minecraft. Uh, I'm just going to sit that down to short render distance because my computer's a piece of crap. But I also forgot to mention one thing. So let's go back to global mods and spawn stuff. So, let's go back to the creatures here and let's go back to wolf. Okay? Now, as you can see, I forgot to save it. Okay? So let's just um, set all the settings I had it before and let me explain. If you forget to click the save button, which is right here, it will cancel out everything you, you have just done. So make sure when you are positive you want that to happen, 
or what you have changed, then go ahead and click save. So we'll put witches in the desert, okay? Let's have two of, you know, groups. And, okay, that's good enough, okay? So, again, make sure and make sure that you set the save to your priorities, okay? <laughs> I don't know why I said set your save, but, you know, you get the point. Okay, so let's go out into the desert, and we're going to go look for some wolves now. And it shouldn't be too long before we start seeing some right now. In fact, I'm going to turn my uh, render distance to normal, because since it tends to render, it makes things a lot easier. Hey, look at well. So, I really find this mod very nifty, especially when you really want to find certain mobs, or mods, and mobs, I'm so sorry, in certain areas. See, now we got wolves spawning in the desert, and as you can tell, it is a swarm of them. So now we've got a lot of wolves now spawning in the desert. And, you know, pretty cool, yes? I mean, now I don't have to find or have to go through, you know, extra trouble to go find these, um, the wolves. And that's one thing I really like about it. Now, there is one thing that is worth noting about this mod that I need to address. Now, you can adjust the uh, time and the location of where mobs can spawn. However, you cannot change the fact that if, let's say, zombies will only spawn in the in the nighttime instead of the daytime, which is why you need an external mod to make sure that zombies spawn in the day and not burn up in the sun. Without that, zombies will only spawn in the nighttime or in dark locations of the desert. So if you want zombies to spawn in the day, then you're going to have to get another mod for that. But otherwise, they'll only spawn in nighttime or in very dark locations. So I really hope you guys like the mod spotlight. If you do, just give it a nice uh, sexy thumbs up. And let's try to go for, you know, 20. You know, not nothing too much. And pretty much that's all i got to say about that. So anyways, guys, thank you all for watching. If you liked the episode, please thumbs up the episode. If you have friends, they will be able to see it. If they say they can like it and subscribe. And if they subscribe, we got more sexy subscribers. And the more sexy subscribers we get, well, the more times we will be seeing Squid in the Rain, and we will help to have a lot of wolves spawn in the desert. So again, guys, thank you all for watching. You all have a great day, and I'll see you all next Mob Spotlight. See you all later, guys. Peace out, and freak out. Bye!